getting us double. Yeah, that, not, that might be scary. Welcome everybody to a pop-up edition of Team Unlimited. If you're on Facebook Live, if you're on our uh, Zoom link, welcome, because it is a very, very important time in the month known as the last three days of the month. And uh, I'm going to adjust my screen here so Hal doesn't feel like we have a blurred background. Uh, hopefully everybody can see and hear us. Hey, Kayla. Welcome to Kayla with her screen. Isn't she beautiful? Good job getting Hey, Zoom look at that. Well. Look at that. New. Congratulations, Kayla. Wait you got to your see new you. uh, set up. That's great. And welcome to Shelly. And uh, we're going to just kind of cut to the chase tonight because we have um, some really important content that's very timely. And it really has to do with the fact that there are five to seven days every single month that really define your business. And it is the last few days of the current month and the first few days of the next month. And so what we want to talk about is how do you optimize, how do you maximize something that represents about 25% of the month, but is more like over 50% of your volume and your business. And how as a business person, can you optimize that? How can you dupl duplicate that? Because that's really what we're doing in our business. So a uh, couple things we want to um, emphasize that how we do one thing is how we do everything. And so I think many of my mentors have said that. So we want to really make sure that you're very aware of why now and what tools can we use to help optimize our success at this time. Anything you want to add to that? Uh, yeah, I'd be glad to. Go ahead. I'm probably just going to restate it in my own words. Okay, so you said a few days at the end of the month and a few days at the beginning of the month. So I personally have seen now in my uh, nearly five years of being every day or every week or every month uh, with Zalise in a direct sales business. And so I will tell you that in other businesses that I've, I've done, the um, it, it wasn't so important that you really focus on certain days of the month. But in this business, it's really important that you focus on certain days of the month, like give a large portion of your focus and energy that you've dedicated to your business to the last two or three days of each month and the beginning of the next month. And so because we're in the last three days of this month of October, we wanted to draw it to your attention, to reemphasize, to say to you, if you're not aware, then we want you to be aware for the success of your business, that it does matter what you do all month long. But the way you end each month, the way you work, the way you think, the things that you do are critically important to the success of your business. And in the nature of this business, you have to focus on your business to help other people focus on their business the last few days of the month, as well as the beginning of the next month, you really have to be focused on this business, it doesn't mean you're going to give all your day and all your night, but you really have to pay attention to the hours that you're going to in the time and the focus you're going to give. So um, that's one reason why we're redrawing attention right now uh, to this at the end of this month, in part because we've had some really special things happen this month. We had our first live event as a corp as a company on a national level with a new pro uh, product launch with a whole new feel of the business. And that happened in the middle of the month. And that was a big deal. It was a big deal for those who went. And so a lot of time and energy was spent on that. But you can go to that event in the middle of the month and then just kind of coast to the end of the month and you'll miss every opportunity that you went to that event for. And if you don't start the next month with, the, with, the, in, with your energy focused on the things that are important at the beginning of next month, the month will pass you by and you won't see any significant growth in your business and you won't see significant help with the people on your team. So anyway. Great points. And so there are two really important things that are unique to this month uh, that won't be really new and unique in November. And one of those is Crazy for Cash, where the company is offering extra money for enrollments. And it's really important to understand that because you can earn up to an extra $1,000 cash for enrollments this month. Up to that. But let's up say to. you haven't tapped into that yet. 
So what if you could just make it uh, extra $50 in the last few days or an extra $100 on the same activity that you make half of that on each month? So let's say you enroll one person and you would normally make $30. Well, in this month, you double that. That's why it's important because we've got a few days left in that. And that's just one right. example. And so crazy for cash is one thing. And then the other one is the new edge sticks, which we have been very surprised that obviously this is a product that we have seen before that we think we've seen before. You guys might have some of this sitting around on your shelf. It's one of our very favorite products. See that. How many of you guys have the at liquid edge sitting around? Raise your hand. Let me see it. Okay. How many of you have liquid edge? All right. How many of you think that you have people on your team that have liquid edge? Raise your hand. Okay. All right. One more question. How many of you uh, have heard that you got too much liquid edge and therefore I'm not sure you're going to buy any more powder edge? Raise your hand. One, two, a couple, two or three. So that's been a response. The people said, hey, we've got a lot of liquid edge around our house because it came blah, blah, blah in the free, you know, free gifts through the star rewards or whatever. So, you know, we don't need any edge right now in the powder form. We've heard that. Believe, can you, I mean, honestly, we've heard people say, we've got too much edge. I'm like, not for business, you don't. But anyway, so. So how, since we're talking about this subject, what makes the powdered sticks different than the liquid edge? A lot of things. I'm going to say the first thing is, here, Lisa, try this. Here, Lisa. Let me dose you. <laughs> Um, it's so much, I mean, powder sticks are so simple to share. Gave two away today to someone that we went over and, and talked CBD, CBG with. And, and the mom, when she opened up her refrigerator, I said, whose Red Bull is that? And she said, oh, it's mine. And I hardly ever drink them. But the other day I was really tired in the afternoon. And I said, I got something for you. Reached into Lisa's purse and pulled out two powder sticks. She said, oh, what is this? And we had about a one minute conversation about what edge powder sticks is. This, I don't care if you got 10 of these bottles at home, you can't do that with that or you don't do that with it. So that's one thing that's different for the, for the person who's never tried it. But for me, what I've noticed is it actually is apparently a different formulation or different effect on me. I have taken this right here for what, five years? Mm -hmm. And the way I've used this is I take a little dropper in the morning and a lot of times in the middle of the afternoon, if we're traveling or driving, I'll take it many times before a call like this, I'll take it, but I don't necessarily notice immediate. I don't notice. I, I just believe that it's helping my brain function. And I think it is, but with the powder sticks, I've noticed that I do notice. I personally notice it even watered down in a 16 ounce bottle that I have kind of a wow alertness that hits. Um, but the other thing, surprisingly, is I have noticed a appetite suppressant or whatever. As Dr. Todd says, it's competing with the leptin. leptin receptors, which are those little receptors in your body that say, oh, time for a snack, time for some potato chips, time for a little chocolate, time for a little candy, time for another trip to the refrigerator. <laughs> oh, you're walking by the candy jar. You need to grab some of that. I've noticed that this has um, taken this during the day, especially um, that I have less of that uh, desire to snag. Here's another thing is so, that these will never be new again. Yeah. Right now we have a limited time offer that they actually create a really customized deep discount to buy in. And that is really what this business model we are the ones that create distribution. That is our job. And so literally, you know, whether it's six bags with a silver or 16 bags with a gold or whatever it is, um, that is really one of the things we do is we move this product through our distribution channel. And so this will never be new again. Next month, you know, it's it's still a new product. It will probably have the option of doing auto ship. Uh, so we'll be able to translate some of our new uh, customer users into repeat users, but part of one of the things that is important is at the end of the month, we have to know what tools and what things that we have that help us to what we call close the month and raise your hand if you view closing the month as kind of a process 
that can that can take some time. That maybe uh, in the past that you have been awake until eleven o'clock at night central um, at the end of the month because you're closing the month right. I see Gene with all his hands and arms and the bunny's leg uh, standing up. But I'm I'm telling you what, uh, unless you've done that, you haven't really worked the business as hard as you could. So let's talk about that because, you know, we have a lot of team members. We have sponsored a lot of people personally, and we have people with goals. And at the end of the month, we're helping people define, de 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 decide, determine where they are. Now it's very helpful for us in helping you. If you already have a commitment towards your end of your own month, or that you have people on your team that you're helping them close their month with their goals. And these goals are driven by an internal uh, county system called business volume. And that's what we're watching is business volume. But the way we get to business volume is who can we help you bring on board as a VIP customer? Who can we uh, have a conversation with if they're talking about wanting to earn income? How can we help you uh, get them to upgrade if that worked for them to a bronze, silver, or gold position, how can we help you here at the end of the month help them reach their goals? And we're focused on that. Let's say someone is trying to hit the 1,000 BV goal this month, and we've had some people do that this month for the first time. And some of them already done it. Others are trying to achieve that now. How can we help them? Well, they need to know where they are in their volume. Like if they call and say, hey, I want to I want to reach that goal of 1,000, and I say, Okay, great. Where are you? Where's your number? And they go, I, I don't know. I don't know where it is. And so if so, we make sure that you know how to do that. And if you've never had our instruction or the company's instructions on how to do that, you know, the best time to do that is now, you know, like right now or yesterday or a few days ago to see where that number is. So you can actually go from that point to close the month. And these are what we mean by really giving attention to and closing the month strong is what are your numbers? Now, we have developed the pattern. Lisa already had it. But let me just, where's, where's a monthly? Mm -hmm. So this is what we do. I'm not saying that you have to do it. But if you want to be successful in this business, you need to have pieces of paper like this every month that are tracking what your vol these are volume and this isn't income this is monthly daily accounting of volume and in and what's happened in our business it's our quote stock and trade in this business it's our business volume that's happening and let's say you only have two or three customers right now and you've just started or let's say you have five or ten and maybe some of them are just using product but if you've never seen this as a business you'll never create an in business income you know, and so we're trying to teach you and encourage you to realize that if you haven't done this, that's okay. You can't do this for the month of October tonight. All right. What can you do tonight? You can look at your volume. Right. You can look at your volume and see what it is. So, so let's just, so that was the second point. Be aware of how you're paid, which is looking at reports. Uh, rank research, and that can be with or without pro. You can still see your volume without the pro software. We're looking at the month of October right now, but it's really important that you're aware of how you find how you're paid, which is through volume, and it's through those reports in the back office. And so if you haven't identified that, uh, then just let us know. And uh, thanks to Christina, she I, I sent her a picture of my cryptic like accounting of how I kind of keep track of of my volume old school. And she actually gave me a nice binder that had those kind of graph paper in it. So uh, thank you for that. So let's Christina. Repeat. What's the first point? So the first point is be aware of what's there to right help now. you close your month. And I want everybody right now, just in a recap of the first point, I want you to close your eyes. And I want to read to you what the edge water does for your brain. So eyes closed. The edge sticks help eliminate brain fog. They enhance memory and focus. They provide clean green energy for peak physical and mental performance. And they help compete with leptin receptors to decrease your hunger as you go about your day. So I want you to open your eyes 
and think about whether that sounds like something that other people would value. And, and if, if it does, then that can be a product that you can really help move into the marketplace. So number one, be aware of what's here to help you close the month. We've got crazy for cash and we've got the new edge sticks. Number two, be aware of how you're paid. The timing matters. Look at your numbers and reports, rank research. And number three, we've got some examples of this. Be in action. So right now, this month, again, this month, we get paid more money for every enrollment this month at every level. They're paying us more for the same actions of helping people enroll from VIP through gold. If you have people uh, on, on, you know, kind of that you're talking to, we get paid more through the end of this month uh, in a special way. Now, they, they did change. I will tell you going forward, hopefully this is, is exciting for next month. They announced in Dallas that they pay us more uh, just normally now, like the fast start pay for enrollments of all kinds from VIP, which is a new position. It's the old uh, jump start kind of position um, to bronze, silver, and gold, which they reduced the prices on. But now they're paying us more to helping people enroll in that. Now, that's the way it's going to be going forward. That should excite you for finding new people for next month. But this month, we not only earn more, but they already had a special in place where they're paying more on each enrollment anyway. So being in action this month and making those enrollments happen, doing whatever you can, spending extra time and energy on introducing this concept and products to people, it's going to pay you more. And you're like, well, I don't know that I want to earn more. I'm like, well, really? <laughs> I think everybody wants really? to earn more. I think more. everybody wants to earn more. You wouldn't be on this call on a Sunday night. So, Patty Bug, what does it look like to be in action? Well, as I told you on the text today, I have sampled 14 people so far on the edge stick. Uh, the reason I got so excited about it, you know, you all know that is because there was no hemp. And I've had so much pushback uh, in, in Kentucky, uh, and I just could feel like I could run with this product. Um, and what happens is, you know, just like in real estate, you, you learn to live the business. You don't go out and do the business. You learn to live the business. So when we see people that we're walking by or we're, you know, at a restaurant, of course, you know, there's a lot of ways you can make conversation. But the best way is to ask them about their self. You know, people really like to tell you about their self and then listen. So I was on the cruise ship and uh, I was up about 630 walking on the top deck and this uh, tall guy, he was a tall, tall guy, six, eight, I think he ended up saying. But anyway, he had the shirt on and it had uh, faith where faith meets fitness on the back, faith and fitness. And boy, that really intrigued me. So I said, hey, I said, I'm Patty. Where'd you get your shirt? You know, and just how can you answer that? He told me, he said, well, my, actually, this is provided by my company. I'm like, oh, tell me more. And he went ahead to tell me that he's empowering uh, youth to shoot for goals and write them down. And and I just thought, wow, you know, so for the next seven laps, we pretty well just talked about different things, you know, not really got into any business. And uh, but word for wisdom, I didn't have any cards with me. He had his card. Uh, so at the end, maybe the last lap. I knew I was going to be ready the last lap. Then I started talking just a little bit about my business, you know, not anything in detail, but primarily about the energy drink. Cause I knew he was into fitness and um, you know, you could tell he was into fitness and I had asked him and he was a, a former um, basketball player, of course. And uh, he told me the team and honestly, I forgot that, but you know, I, I made that a big deal and told him about my grandkids playing, you know, basketball and all that. But anyway, um, just meeting people and that has turned out where, you know, it's been a couple of weeks since I got back off the cruise, I guess. And I don't know, um, 10 days later, I just reached out to him and said, you know, so nice to meet you. And we really need to uh, talk so I can order that T-shirt. And he just sent me back and said, uh, told him I couldn't get on his website. He said, well, he said, I'll send you one. He said, but I'm very interested in your product. He said, I've researched it on my own and I'm very interested so that's just, you know, when you're going about your daily business, guys, and that I'm not going to make it complicated. I'm just going to make it, you know, if, if he's interested, great. If he's not, great. And next, you know. So I'm just excited because it is a billion-dollar industry. And when you look at all the people that are drinking those energy drinks, I mean, I have friends who actually have drank those things. And when I took them down and sampled them or took the samples down to my chiropractor, who is very health-conscious, They've never, ever been interested in any of our products. I've tried, 
but they all got so excited because I went in and I said, okay, I got the clean green energy drink. There's nothing like it around. And boy, I had all their attention at that point. Great. So real quick, Patty, have you ordered, did you order some, some uh, edge uh, powder sticks already? And you have some? Okay. Okay. I actually at Dallas, I ordered uh, the silver package because okay. honestly, I didn't know, you know, I didn't really know. I know nothing about the energy business, but I've been learning. But then yeah. what I did was brought one of my grandkids back in and I'm going to, you know, do the gold because what a, what a way to get cheap, you know, uh, not cheap, inexpensive samples. About the best I can tell is about $40 a bag at that gold level. So that's pretty awesome that we can, you know, sample people. And, you know, that's what I'm going to use for my samples. And yes, it's great. Not have to worry about trying to figure out how we're going to sample people with, you know, our $50 bottles or whatever. Very good. So it sounds to me like what you've done is on your daily basis, you're, you're sharing with people. You're excited about the new product. You've given us two examples. But the other thing you did is you ordered the best deal possible right now, which was initially a silver package. Uh, yes. And you're going tomorrow to order a gold package because yes. you're you're taking the action that's the greatest opportunity for you at this time during this period. So Absolutely. Ready great. to run and, with it. Yeah, ready to run with it. And I'm excited. You know, that's the thing, guys. Whatever it takes. Um, you know, during COVID, it was hard to get excited about anything, but, but really whatever it takes to get you excited, just get on board. And, you know, people may not see you about, you know, other things, but they will see your excitement. I promise they will see your excitement. Very good. Thank you, Patty. Thanks, You're Patty. Welcome. All right. And then I heard a story today that was just, I just absolutely love that. So we've got to talk about this tonight. So today we talked with Susan Everett and we talked to her several times about different things, but I want to hear, Susan, if you'll share with us about you and Judy having lunch with your 20-something-year-old niece at after a volleyball match or something. But tell us about your edge stick experience with her. Or is Susan? She's, she's still on? hiding. She's hiding. What happened? We'll come back to her. Okay. We'll come back to Susan. All right. Christina. Oh, yeah, she's not there. What does it look like to be in action? I actually um, took some of the edge sticks. I didn't do a whole lot of the sampling with the edge sticks because it was a high school reunion. Uh, Friday night just went in. I listened to conversations um, just in general. Didn't talk about the business and what I do or anything. But when I heard people talking about PTSD, losing children at the, you know, when their kids were young ages and things like that, I just asked them, you know, let me be a resource for you. If you're looking for ways to better your health or to help manage the situation that you've got, let me be that resource. So I showed up Saturday night uh, because that was just a Friday night little get together uh, in my hemp um, hemp lady t-shirt because I wasn't going to hide who I am or what I do. Um, so then it just kind of got odd looks from other people, but it kind of opened questions because we went bowling. And I don't know if anybody's been bowling in a while, but I, I was feeling it down this whole entire side of my body within the first five minutes. <laughs> so I took the topical with us and I said, just because we're, we're old doesn't mean we got to feel old. So I'm putting topical on me. So then it's somebody's like, hey, what is that? And I'm like, it's a topical. And they're like, let me see that. So then people started putting it on. The LFI card, guys, that's getting ready to hit. Be on, it's Thursday, right? Thursday is the training. Thursday. Be on the that training part. because I was able to take that card. Yep, there you go. Tap it to people's phones. I got six contacts just from that evening. Um, two of them have signed up since then. I've got two more on the line. One of them was actually at our event in uh, Indy when we were there this last week. So, you know, we've got a lot of technology and a lot of things right now with our old and our new to really talk to people and, and listen to people. But I find I'm getting a lot of... Um, more interest in what we're doing with just telling people, let me be a resource for you. It's not even, I don't push anything that I do on them, but it really draws people in to ask questions. So I find that that's starting to really work for me on this side. Awesome. Very good. Thank you. Kayla. So, oh, okay. Yeah, good. Kayla, what does it look like to be in action with your dog? You're, uh, you're muted, girl. Can you unmute? This is new technology. There, you, there go. you go. We still can't hear you though, Kayla. How about? There you go. That's Got it. Great. Better. Loud and clear. 
Okay, Jim, my computer guru guy set me up with all this fancy equipment, rolled out of here and didn't give me a tutorial on it. Anyhow, um, <laughs> took Joshua for his visit, and I had I had said to the last time, just a short history, he was snowed with too much anesthesia, and I could tell he was snowed. And um, took him from uh, 1 p.m. in the afternoon to midnight to wake up. I was worried because me being a transplant nurse, his respirators were down to six texted my good friend and I said I'm in trouble his dog's not coming out of sedation and he told me what to do and I was I was okay with that I watched Josh all night and he came on so I worked out a deal with my veterinarian Beth and I said I am keeping him on the hemp products I'm not taking him off for his next nail trimming don't ask me to because I'm not going to do it I said but I want you to do this for me I want you to give him less sedation than you gave him the last time I want to do a not a, you know, a good medical study or a clinical trial, just an observation. She gave him less anesthesia. He had his procedure done at 4.30 in the afternoon, and he was up walking around, stealing toilet paper again by 8 p.m. So mm -hmm. I was real happy that he was walking around with his white mustache clinging to his lips. Oh, that's funny. So, no. so you were a paper mustache. So you were paper able mustache. to use less anesthesia. Less at... anesthesia didn't cut down on the bill. I'm going to have to bring that up to her. You use less <laughs> anesthesia. I want a reduction in the bill. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that, Kayla. You're welcome. And I know you've been in motion as well, and that you've been. Uh, you introduced me the other day. Put me on a phone call with um, a friend of yours who's a physician, a rheumatologist. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had another uh, three-way phone call with another friend of yours who's a physician who uh, were, you're enrolling um, with the bronze. So way to be in, in motion, Kayla. And I and want you and how to help me out with my PCP with a call tomorrow to tell me about the business plan and the compensation because he got kind of jaded with Amway. Gotcha. Although he said he made good money when he was in Florida, but then it went kaput. Well, we've never we'll heard be that before yeah. from anybody. We'll be glad to visit with him on that. Okay. Set that up. We'll be glad to do it. And by the way, congratulations. You navigated uh -huh. your new technology quite well and, yeah. and kayla you're this far from a thousand so, so kayla's a, I know. So here we are at the end of the month and we're not going to go into detail about this but we really want her to hit that first thousand bv and she's so close and she has to her and, and she's connected to lisa and lisa is really helping her i mean she's direct sponsorship to us and so you know we we, we want to help her get there but i'm really proud of her Aww. and the effort she Thank put you. forward and, you know, we just, we've seen a couple of people go over the thousand mark for the first time on our team. And uh, it's really cool to see that. Um, but I will say that in every single case of that I can recall, they began their month strong. Each one of those began the month of October strong in the first few days. So that's, that's your. Oh, and, and Kayla, honestly, this is the first time we've been able to see you. We oh, I looked just before. great tonight. I was tearing my hair out watching the Untouchables movie, and Sean Connery got killed, and I cried. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I was so upset oh, they killed goodness. Sean Connery. Well, well, listen. While we can see you, do you mind uh, just briefly sharing what Zelis products have done for you first uh, before Joshua? Tell tell us what you have well, noticed. About Joshua eating. brought me to Zelis, but my history is uh, severe neuropathy from toxic chemotherapy. Now I'm in a wheelchair. I can't walk. I'm not going to hide that from anybody. Uh, to all the ladies on the call, to tell all your female family members and friends, if they feel any bloating, don't eat as much as they used to. Prime age is 63. That's what I thought was wrong with me. Went in and had stage 3C ovarian cancer. You have four stages. I was one stage away from being probably dead in eight months. But it has helped with my neuropathy. I used to be um, numb, clear up to my pelvic region. I'm now numb, um, but a little, little bit below my knees. I still can't walk because I have no sensation in my feet. My feet can't balance me. My knees are bad, but the, anyhow. So it has helped me. And the Edge product, oh, it zings me to life in the afternoon when I'm getting a little tired. Um, I don't have as much road rage anymore, taking the CBD and the CBG. Oh, I would physically get out of my car and call somebody an asshole. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was bad. I was bad. <laughs> um, I'd yell at people at dog shows if they accused my dog of starting a fight, which they never did. I don't do that anymore. I'm kind of calmed down. <laughs> and the dream and the R&R, &R, 
good golly, Miss Smalley, it's the greatest thing in the whole world. <laughs> That's awesome, Kayla. Well, it is a delight for us to see your beautiful face. I Thank tried getting for... Joshua to come up here and say hello, but he's too busy looking for a well, We're still here if you can if it, you can entice him. You know, it's been a delight, Kayla. And and people have kind of got to know you and now we get to see you. First time for us, <laughs> for me tonight to see you. In this person. is my this is my work apron. I carry around with me my wheelchair because I can stuff it with pockets and take it wherever I need to go. Here's the thing. Uh it's been a delight for me to observe you become more and more full into this project because um uh, it just has been. And um, thank you, Hal. It's, uh, it's, it's, and I've got to observe that um, as a new person who's fully in, you've caught it at the right time. Um, I think a lot of people on our team have had to endure a lot of things through the business for quite a while. Um, I've heard, yeah. And, you know, we're grateful that, that there's numbers of new people coming in now. But I will say for those that have been around, you know, to um, this is a, I, this, this is a time with, with Zelise that has a seven-year foundation of making its mistakes, of having re, had to redirect, who has a history of products that have been very effective for many years, and people, the people that have stayed faithful and said, we got something that we believe will impact the world right here, and we've seen the history of it, and we're going to be full in. And these times at the end of the month, it's hard. It's hard to be divided with your attention and your direction. And at the beginning of the month, it, you have to just make a decision. I'm going to do this and I'm going to help people with this project. Um, and what happens when you make that decision each month, month after month, then little miracles happen in between and you make progress. And I wish Susan, I think probably she's got something going on at the house, but I thought it was such a cool story. Can I tell it? Yeah, sure. So Susan Everett and her sister, Judy, um, who all of you know, you know, they haven't exactly brought in the next generation. None of us have brought in the next generation yet. Look at this screen, guys. Just look at the screen. Kristen is our, uh, Christina Kristen's is our, our, you know, Kristen is like our youngest. Christina. Uh, Christina, I'm sorry. Uh, Christina is one of our youngest people on the call. And we've said for quite a while on Encountered, you know, this younger generation is just not buying into our deal and not coming. Coming into our deal, our kids, our grandkids. But I have seen almost instantaneously with the new edge product that the younger generation is very much looking for this product. They don't know it yet, but but they respond well to it. And so um, Susan Everett and her sister Judy um, had lunch with one of her nieces, an ex volleyball player, and her husband today and she used this script script with them in the middle of their conversation toward the end she said hey i just want to ask y'all a question i looks like judy's, judy's coming on. on maybe judy could tell the story better judy, than me. can you tell the story wait, wait wait she's not on yet <clears throat> but you all need to hear this because i think it's just great keep going anyway um what susan said was hey listen i got a question for y'all and these are 20 somethings I, we have a new product that we're wanting to bring. There's Susan. I'm telling your story. I want you to tell it about your niece. Can no, you hear we Susan? Can't hear. You're muted. You're muted. What did you want? I'm back. Well, we wanted there we go. <laughs> well, we're going to have Susan tell the story about the, the meeting with y'all's niece and how she the language you used about trying to say, hey, I'm looking for a young, for somebody young to help us bring this to market. Can and you hear me oh, now? She, she yeah, did no, a great job. Let her tell you about that. Yeah. Can you hear me now? We, we can. can. Okay. I can't see. Okay. So I don't know if you can see me or whatever. It doesn't matter. So, um, so uh, I, I wanted to meet with my niece. She's like about 23, something like that. She and her husband have been married a year. And I truly wanted to meet with her because of this new edge product, because again, it's a product that I think, you know, is very, has people of that age group don't want to talk about CBD because that's for old people and, you know, people with aches and pains and they don't have it. So I just talked to her and I just said, Hey, I, you know, we're, uh, you know, a little bit about what I'm doing. You don't know a lot about it, but I am trying to, uh, you know, open a new market and I need some new people that are, you know, 
you guys, your, your generation works second jobs or third jobs and that kind of stuff. And, and so I just want to open a new market and I want to, um, I want somebody that can help me, you know, somebody like in your age group, in other words, that can speak to your age group. I can't remember how I said it now. Things are going off. Um, and, you know, so then they started asking questions about the products, which then led to them being interested in buying the products. Which products? But, uh, well, actually, she ends up having a an inflammation problem. And so she's interested in buying CBD, CBG. So you, but and, you led with the edge and it opened up her desire to talk about CBD, CBG. That's exactly right. Yeah, yeah. I was surprised by that. I mean, they're interested in edge. As a matter of fact, she... While we were sitting at Cracker Barrel, she took her glass of water and mixed that Judy gave her a sample. See, I was I was talking, Judy was handing out samples. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Judy. <laughs> and but Judy handed her a sample of edge. She put it in her water and drank it down right while we were sitting there. She goes, Oh, and 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 let him have a sip of it and uh said, Oh, the flavor of this is really good. Oh yeah, great. This is wonderful. We'll like this on our drive home, you know, all that kind of stuff. So but did but you did you find that to be just a really easy conversation, not awkward at all? It really was. It was hard to get started because I didn't I want I wanted to make sure I, you know, kind of like I heard a little bit about what Patty was saying. I didn't mm -hmm. want to come off salesy because that's not what I was trying to do. I wanted to just talk to her, you know, say, hey, and that's why it was easy for me to say, you know, do you know somebody that's, you know, a go getter, somebody that's either got it, you know, type of person that has a second job, because then I'm not talking about them and I'm not worrying about the science, you know, so I'm able to start the conversation, you know, it's talking about somebody else. That's easy. Right. That's great. That's awesome. So, that's a great example of staying in motion. Right. That's I love it. Thank you for sharing that, Susan. And I've gotten several questions from so you guys. Let, um, me, let me let me just give one more thing real yeah. quick about being in motion. So I got a call last night. I did a three-way call with Lauren Lynch, who's not able to be on tonight, but she'd been setting this call up for a few days. A new person that she's training at work said, hey, this lady's already working three jobs. She uh, has had some financial hardship. Um, she got two kids at home, uh, you know, teenagers. Would you be willing to talk with her about ma making money with Zelise? And I said, sure. And so we got on the phone in about 10 minutes. I just said, I said, look, here's the deal. If, if you're looking for this to make you fast money, I can tell you that you won't make a lot of fast money, but I can tell you you can make some money. Now, the way we do this is we help you enroll people because the company pays us to get people a product. And I want to help you do that as soon as possible. However, before you do more than just the VIP package and try product yourself, I want you to start making a list, even though you're not in a position to build the business yet, I want you to act like you are. And I want you to think about it as a money-making proposition. So this is Lauren Lynch getting in action at the end of the month because she knows that if this lady were to take action now, the lady could actually make more money this month than you know the same action next month. So Lauren's trying to help somebody to get in and make money as quickly as possible. And again, it won't be big money, but it would be enough potentially if she could just bring one other person in to, to make, maybe pay half of her product line that she ordered and gets her started. So that's also taking you know action when there's an opportunity in a moment and take that action now. So what I, my challenge to you before we finish this part up is, what action can you take to move your business forward here at the end of the month? It may be to make contacts. It may be to do a three-way call. But if you've not ordered <laughs> the silver or gold silver show special and got yourself some, some edge sticks coming to you, my question is, why not? I mean, why not? And why not reach to your team? You say, well, I don't know that I want to take on all expense by myself. Look and see if you got a team member on your team below you that might want to split a kit with you. Mm -hmm and have them order under their account, and you guys at least take half of it and get to moving with this new product. Um, so that would be one action to take. Very, very good point. I, I did see a question. Uh, I think it was Shelly that said that it was making her sleepy, um, maybe due to the stevia um, and the product. Uh, this is an energy product. So with any of our product line, if you have a result that is counter what you really should be having. I think number one, I would look at how much that I'm taking. People who are really sensitive can take small amounts and have the same effect. 
And so I would drastically cut back on the amount that you're taking or drastically dilute it in water. Like I prefer the edge packs in 16 ounces of water. That feels really good to me. Um, I know somebody when you else. you say 16 ounces of water, do you just down 16 no, ounces? No, no, no. I, sip and on it throughout I the can't drink that very fast for some reason. Uh, the edge uh, water is what we kind of refer to it as. Is kind of a slow sippage over a couple hour period for me. That feels comfortable for me. How about you? Well, I, but I'm not, when I do it, and I, that's exactly how I do it. But I don't think about it in terms of taking a dose over time. Yeah, I just drink my water. I drink my edge water and it has a kind of a continual effect right, to right. me throughout the day. That's how I do it. And that's how I see it. Now, for other people, you know, they may have a different, just everybody's different. And so. Well, and some people, uh, you know, make a little. Can I taste. Add, yeah, yeah. Can I add I, something? It's, yeah. It's real important guys. Um, of course, y'all know me. I'm like double A, triple A personality. So if you encounter someone like me, ask them to start out slow. Because when I took the whole bottle, I was absolutely felt like I was climbing the walls. And I was already up there and I got up there. So what I do, I put a package in a 16 ounce and I drank it over three days. So, I mean, that's literally wow. a third of a package. But I feel like the cognitive and stuff is what I need. But I mean, I'm just sharing that because um, sure. I, I'm realizing that I might be a little unique, but just, you know, you pretty much know who you're, you know, just say, you know, say you might want to start kind of, kind of low on it. You know, I'm, it, it really yeah. made me bounce off the walls. I'm telling you. So no, no one told Jeff that in Dallas and he just loaded up on a pack and he went bouncing off. He was like, <laughs> never seen, I've, you know, Jeff's kind of low key. You know, he's one of these. Wow. You know, CPA counter type guys. He's a he's a he's a pencil pusher, and he was just bouncing off the wall like that. <laughs> I was, yeah, yeah. But yeah, absolutely. So you got to know whether you're sensitive, and if you're sensitive, you can drink that over three days. Uh, you can drink it over sixteen ounces, or you you can even do. Hey, listen. The other thing, though, for Shelly, if you had a kind of what I would call a unexpected response to it, just send a customer support, you know, not so much a ticket, just sitting in and say, just want to help keep track of this. Wonder if anybody else is having this response, response and send it in. Cause when you tell us it doesn't get recorded, but if you'll send it into uh, customer support, I think they would appreciate having that kind of feedback. So yeah, absolutely. there was something else that was on there. We wanted to address. Um, one, one more thing on here on this. Yeah. You said, we'll talk about it. Oh, the tap card. Yeah, tap card. Yeah, Christina brought up the tap card. And um, how show everybody again. Yeah, so, the that, so we had an opportunity. It's one of the advantages of being uh, making a commitment to go to the uh, live event. We had an opportunity to buy these tap cards, which have been awesome. This goes straight to our account. You tap it on someone's phone. The iPhones, you tap at the top. The um, Androids. Androids, you tap in the middle. And if the tap doesn't work, you have a QR code that does the same thing. But it literally goes straight to our account. And what's cool is it doesn't look like your normal landing page for Zelise. It actually looks a whole lot better, which is awesome. But they get an opportunity to just put a little information in or not. But when they do, then they are, you know, kind of tied to us through that. You can't tap on somebody else's card that they're just out wandering around and meeting the airport. Uh, cause they're already kind of in the system that way. So the tap card, uh, and I've, I've used it several times, but this is a new thing with Zelise. It's been around for a while, this kind of thing, but we, uh, have brought it out. It's $29, 29, 99, 29, so one time, one -time fee. fee. They have a limited supply. Several of you have heard us talking about it and you reached out and Lisa was able to put some names in to get some and and i i think if you guys want one and didn't get one text me and i'll text you back but here's the deal get one of these if you're going to build the business don't get one of these just to make it novel like you got something that other people don't have these are right now a little bit in limited supply yeah they are i mean we're going to be able to get more but if you want one to build your business and to communicate with people, reach out to Lisa and she'll see if there's any left available in this first order. Linda Joyner, we didn't say hello to you, but I see that you are having good success with using your tap card. Woohoo! I'm impressed with that. Um, you just need to follow up with the people. Which Linda is, got hers in Dallas when she came to Dallas. She and did. We got to meet her and hang out with her. And she but, shared her shrimp with me. It, it's, like a, it's like a business card on steroids, to be honest. Christina, you've you've had a lot of experience with it. Do you mind just uh, sharing kind of what you've noticed uh, about it? With the tap card, I like the technology that makes it easy because 
I, I still have a hard time figuring out where to touch people's phones at, or I'm just not tech savvy when it comes to that, which is weird. So I use the QR code a lot, which I love that because I can take a picture of it and share it to social media as well. So on the, the boutiques and things I'm in, so then people can actually scan that and go straight to it. But it's got information about the edge, a lot of different products that we have. People can put their contact information in there to get a sample from you suggestion do not send a sample unless you talk to them personally that way you make sure you make that connection but they can just shoot you their information but it's just it's got your name phone number they've updated it with our pictures from the back office that we've got in our profiles now so it just makes it really really easy to share the business and it's it is it's like a uh, like a, a business card on steroids they've got your information right there they can get theirs from them but it's got so much more information about at least the business and what we do than just a regular business card ever could Awesome. Thank All right. you, Christina. Thank you. So great input tonight, guys, for a pop-up call this lasts a little longer than normal, but, but we have we don't know what we a pop-up do is. We don't know one. what it is. This is new to us, but you know, we're doing pop-ups, but we've done pop-ups this month. Do not expect these to happen every month. Um, we just feel like, look, it's a news release. It feels like a news release. Um, to be frank, we've lost a lot of people from the old Zelise. And they've had, you know, it just has happened over the last couple of years, the pandemic. Uh, it got dragged down through a lot of things, but I'm telling you, it's coming back uh, and uh, some of the things that we're talking about. So I would say at this point, because you are in the Zelise business and you're not just on this call as a product user, that you really do want to help us move and empower others and empower yourself. Think about this. Hal and Lisa made a point tonight to talk about the last three days of the month and the first three days of the next month. See if you can't really think about that and see if you're willing to commit to that for yourself, ending this month with different actions that you ended last month with. Um, whatever that looks like for you, rebuild your names list, reach out to some people. Um, Let us help you with a three-way phone call. Order order the product, order this edge stick product and have it delivered. It's going to come early in the month. If you order now, it will come early enough in the month. Uh, next month to use it to expand your business. I personally think it could make a great new Christmas present uh, for family members. I, why not? You know, if if you get the case, it's, you know, you're, you, it's not too expensive a Christmas present, but don't just get, don't give it away. Buy it to build your business with. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be spending a lot of time talking about edge. So for those of you that are pushing back on the edge sticks, uh, and there are people that are pushing back because you've got too many free things from the company. Big mistake from the company. They gave us too much free stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you can't build your business with free stuff. Okay. You're going to use this. Most people say, well, I got too much supply of the edge liquid. We're going to be talking about edge sticks going forward. It's not all we're going to be talking about. But the next few months, the edge sticks are going to be a major message of our Zelise business. And we're getting good results with it in people's responses. So if you don't have that, you might get frustrated that all this emphasis on the edge stick. Okay, guys. So in closing. One more testimony. One more testimony. My, oh, husband, yeah. seven, my husband, 77. He's been on edge sticks now for two weeks and he played golf seven days in a row. I told you all this. 18 <laughs> holes and never got tired. Seven days that in rascal. a row, 77 years old. <laughs> And never got tired. That's a testimonial to Edge. Hey, hey you know did what? He four putt every green. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. Hey, hey, you know what? We had we had a a live event in Northwest Arkansas on Thursday, and the husband Another. of the host. Yeah, we're doing one every week. But the husband of the host said, you know, Edge Sticks was his first product to really, other than the topical, he has uh, an issue with his hand. He's got some hand pain. And the edge powder took his pain away. I mean, go figure. It's still endocannabinoid support. Yes, it is. So just understand that, you know, it's positioned as an energy drink. That's a huge market. It's a younger market. That's one of the reasons why we're, we're excited about it. It gives us a whole different thing to talk about. But until people try it, you really don't know exactly what they're going to experience. So be consistent. You got to want this, guys. You got to want it. You got to prioritize it. Let's finish the month strong. Uh, if Can I was going to say something? Sure. No, go ahead, it's it's off the topic, but I put it in the chat. I'm going to have my vet record something with me and Joshua. Her is the veterinarian who can back up what I'm saying. 
and I'll make a recording that people can use whatever they want to do. And if they need somebody to talk to a vet in medical terms, I'm certainly able to do that. And I'll help anybody who wants to help their pets by talking to whoever. And I'm going to get that recording done ASAP. Come here, Josh. Oh, oh you've got Josh? Josh. Come here. Come here. Is he going to say hi? Your screen's fuzzy. So he's much. just he's just sitting pretty right now. He doesn't want to do anything else. Oh, I can see his little bit of his head. Come here. Thank come here. here. Right here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come here and say oh, hello. Look at that little guy. Look at that, little pet. Look at that little pet fur baby. Little lap. <laughs> He's, He's like a big bunny. Lorena. Bigger than me. He's bigger He's than me. He's a big bunny, Lorena. He's, He's just a big bunny. bunny. He's bigger than me. So here's what I'm going to say about Edge Dick. Say hello. If I was going to start my own business in the direct selling industry and start with one product, Edge Sticks is what I would start with because it's endocannabinoid support. It is non-hemp, and I can add hemp later or direct people to it, but I think it will move every generation, lower price point. Lower price point. You know, this is almost like we're truly starting Zelise as a new company. It's not because we have the foundation, and we have learned from our mistakes, and, you know, we're and the field is working with leadership directly in beautiful ways. Never seen it before. Um, don't know many companies that work the way we're, we're doing this right now successfully. Um, but that's how I feel about these edge sticks. That's how much, how strongly I feel about the possibility of just truly doing massive things, um, with the wow. edge sticks, which then is the door opener for everything else. So anyway, so don't miss the opportunity, miss you guys. Thank you for being on the call. We will see you tomorrow on the freedom call. Text me if you want a tap Thank card. You. We'll see if we can grab one for you. Lots Bye, of love everybody. to everybody. Thank Bye, you. Guys. Thank you.